That was an eagle putt, though. That was eagle for us, so that was great. We got a battle going on here. Louis is two up on us right now, so we got to find a way to get back in this game. I am feeling the battle. You know what? Anytime you can, ju you can just sense it. There's eyes watching you. And, yeah. One of the nicest guys in the world off the ice, but get him in a competition, and he'll rip your arm off. We still enjoy beating the Flames. I don't think that'll ever change. They're beating us pretty good right now, but we got uh, we still got 13 holes to go here, so hopefully we can turn it around. We all know the Battle of Alberta runs deep in this province, but even the off season doesn't mean time off. The Battle of Alberta biannual golf tournament is back with players and alumni from both teams alike teeing off in the name of charity. Currently we're building a $23 million building on the Red Deer Polytech campus, a center of excellence that's housing the a Child Advocacy Center, Central Alberta Sexual Assault Center, a Move Your Mood Studio, uh, uh, Step Up, Step Down AHS program, as well as all the child and adolescent mental health and addiction therapy. So a lot of the money will be going towards the building. We're building a confidence in this community and uh, if you look at the, you know, the, the, the stats around child abuse, I mean 95% of the kids know their abuser and 50% of these kids are being abused in the home. It's something near and dear to my heart. I've, I've had some real struggles over the last couple of years as well in terms of mental health and I really love the direction that they're going in and raising a ton of money out here. There's a lot of generous people out here in Alberta. Grant, you are not one to miss a golf tournament. Why did you want to come back this year? Well, one, it's a phenomenal cause. I mean, the Child Advocacy Center is phenomenal. We got a chance to tour it yesterday. That's a pretty impressive place, so it's good for that. It's also good to run into small friends. So it kind of double dip that way. Nice. <laughs> you know, you look at those guys, they were like arch rivals, and now they're, they're for the common good of kids. The alumni, we used to never look at either ever make eye contact uh, with an oiler. But nowadays, after all those battles, now we're just having fun and we know that we're helping make a difference. So that's what we uh, key in on. Does this feel like a Battle of Alberta out here? Oh, that's good. Yeah, I think it's just uh, pure enjoyment from good people throughout the whole group. So I'm just trying to enjoy the day. We've been having a blast already, um, but it's still competitive out here. So, I mean, it's Battle of Alberta, right? So always trying to always trying to beat the flames. At the end of the day, you just want to win for your team, but uh, it's all good vibes out here. Guys are great, and it's, uh, it's fun listening to some stories from the older guys talking about the Battle of Alberta in their day. So, uh, what kind of stories did you hear? Uh, I talked to Tim Hunter yesterday, and he was telling us a story about uh, <laughs> he started a bench clearing brawl uh, way back in the day. So I couldn't even imagine what that was like, but it was pretty entertaining to hear. And, must have been entertaining to watch, so I think that's why the Battle of Alberta gets its reputation. Reporting at the Red Deer Golf and Country Club, for Oilers TV, I'm Jessica Kent. You guys didn't get that, did you? <laughs>